Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Greg Koch here, back in the orange room on behalf of our friends at the Triumphant Guitar World magazine. And uh, today we thought we would discuss an old tune of mine that has some interesting chord changes. And it's from a record years ago. I had a band called Greg Koch and the Tone Controls. I was just talking with Andy Alador about having to go back with my back catalog and rename all the records just Greg Koch. Because if it says, and the Tone Controls, and the, the, the so-and-sos, or whatever, the band, the trio, all these different things I used to delineate which band it was have now caused trouble on things like Spotify. So I've been able to re-release all of my stuff under just the moniker of Greg Koch, because it's really all about me, isn't it? I'm just kidding. But if, and, <laughs> no, I'm not. Anyway, uh, this particular song was on a record I did, Greg Koch and the Tone Controls, 1993. And it was, a, it was a bluesy band, but we tried to make things sound, you know, tried to push the ball down the field a little bit by adding some cooler chord changes uh, here and there. So this was a tune I had as a shuffle tune, kind of a funk shuffle. <laughs> the key of G, but I came up with this turnaround that I thought was pretty cool uh, that goes, um, it's kind of an E augmented sharp nine to an A7 with a raised fifth to a, to a D7 sharp nine, and then I put the G sharp and the bass back to G. So in, in practice, it's something like this. trying to think that particular thing there was a John Mayle record back in the day that was kind of a compilation of outtakes and stuff that didn't make any of his other records it was called looking back and there was a song in there uh, that had that progression I think that's probably where I got it not not the the funky chords in there but just that Like that. Anyway, and so I funked it up a little bit by taking these G13, it's just G13 chords, and kind of adding that funkier rhythm. Folks, a lot of times when I hit this chord, go in here. When I hit this G13, a lot of times when I hit 13s, I just kind of voice it like this and leave this finger open just so I can communicate with my crowd a little bit more effective. Actually, no, it's just a more comfortable way of doing it. Telegraphing the four chord to the C9. Oh. I like to do that one with my thumb as well so I can give those strings a little bit of a torque. You also do this is kind of fun. I sometimes I'll slide just to add a little bit more flav. Now, when you're soloing over something like that, you know, um, you can kind of stay in blues land, but when it gets to those, those chord changes, you can, you have some options available to you. And uh, I remember when I first recorded it, I just, I kind of just went for whole tone over all of those chords. So when I'm going, and what's fun about that, With a whole tone scale, you can grab just a little bit of the scale, like say these four notes. And you can just take things up and down whole steps and it's a very effective little tool. So I mean. Or. Or. Uh. 
So that's kind of fun to do. Or you take like just like this triad, augmented triad. It's an old T-Bone Walker thing, but I occasionally will do this thing where I do like a ban a backwards banjo roll. So it's ring finger, middle, pick. Now that'll work over all of these chords. And you'll sound you'll sound swanky using just All right folks, that was one way to approach those chords, a little bit of a whole tone vibe, if you will, on my tune Mean Streak off the first Greg Cock. I guess it's just called Greg Cock. It's a brown cover with tone knobs flying over the city of Milwaukee like spaceships. See what I did there? Oh, crazy. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this lesson and uh, that tune, if you should go and search for it online. T. Lavitz on keyboards plays a blazing solo on that particular song as well, for those of you who are Dixie Dregs fans. Um, there you have it. I shall return with maybe some other ideas of how to negotiate uh, that little chordal turnaround in a future lesson. So thanks for tuning in, folks. Greg Koch, out.